A love letter sent to you from God. Thomas Watson, Body of Divinity. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Colossians 3:16. Study the scripture. It is a copy of God's will. Be scripture men, Bible Christians. Search the scripture as for a vein of gold. This blessed book will fill your head with knowledge and your heart with grace. There is majesty sparkling in every line of scripture. There is a melody in scripture. This is that blessed harp which drives away sadness of spirit. How sweetly does this harp of scripture sound! What heavenly music does it make in the ears of a distressed sinner, especially when the finger of God's spirit touches this instrument? There is divinity in Scripture. It contains the marrow and the quintessence of true religion. It is a rock of diamonds and a manual of piety. The lips of Scripture have grace poured into them. The Scripture speaks of faith. Self-denial and all the graces which, as a chain of pearls, adorns a Christian. Oh, then, search the Scripture. Had I the tongue of angels, I could not sufficiently set forth the excellency of Scripture. It is a spiritual telescope in which we behold God's glory. It is the tree of life, the oracle of wisdom, the rule of godliness. The heavenly seed of which the new creature is formed, the two testaments says one are the two breasts which every Christian must suck, that he may get spiritual nourishment. These holy leaves of Scripture are for the healing of our souls. The Scripture is profitable for all things. If we are downcast, here is spiced wine that cheers the heavy heart. If we are pursued by Satan, here is the sword of the Spirit to resist him. If we are diseased with sin's leprosy, here are the waters of the sanctuary, both to cleanse and cure. Oh, then, search the Scriptures, read the Bible with reverence. Think in every line you read that God is speaking to you. The ark wherein the word was put. Was overlaid with pure gold and was carried on bars that the Levites might not touch it. Exodus twenty-five fourteen. Why was this? But to give reverence to the word. Read with seriousness. It is a matter of life and death. By this word you must be tried and judged. Read the word with affection. Get your hearts quickened with the word. Labor that the word may not only be a lamp to direct, but a fire to warm. Read the scripture not only as history, but as a love letter sent to you from God, which may affect your hearts. Pray that the same Spirit who wrote the word may assist you in reading it, that God's Spirit would show you the wonderful things of His law. So that the word will become effectual. Oh, how I love your law! I meditate on it all day long. Psalm one hundred and nineteen ninety-seven.